It looks like the aftermath of a detonation, and in a way, it is. The bushfires have created entirely new weather systems, with lightning and tornadoes. This is what laid beneath a pitched battle against the fire. While the weather conditions have improved, as you would have heard as reported uh, from New South Wales and Victoria, there are still many fires that are raging, and, and there is a very significant firefighting effort which is continuing. Today, though, further south in Bairnsdale, Victoria, it began to rain. It felt like hope, and so did this. Truck after truck came from all around the state to deliver animal feed to the remote farms that have been ravaged by fire. Let's go. What channel? Channel They're all volunteers, and some of them are victims of the fire themselves, determined to help others. Uh, look, everybody's got together, um, the, the Livestock Agency, the Shire, Need for Feed, many other organisations um, have turned up, the word's got out that we needed a bit of feed and um, produce and whatnot, and um, yeah, it's been absolutely uh, overwhelming. Haven't had time to think, um, defended my own house in Nicholson Monday night, stayed up all night, uh, drove to Bucking in the morning to check out my farm, mum and dad's place is gone, father-in-law's place's parents are gone. The convoy set off. Today's a chance for recovery, and this is an extraordinary operation. This is only the first few trucks. You can see them going off now. They're all volunteers. Some of them have suffered a lot in the fire themselves, but they're on their way to help devastated communities. These animals were evacuated to safety before the fires. Now they're trying to get them back home, and here in Victoria at least, to get back to normal.